everyone, it's Ashley here from Ascension NXT. And I haven't added a video in a few days. I was going to do my daily readings and I kind of wasn't feeling posting them. So, still trying to figure out the content on my YouTube channel, so bear with me, but I am pulling content in for it because there's definitely some things that I don't want to just do live videos for on Facebook. And today, I am going to talk about the zombie culture, I guess in America or, you know, just the zombie culture in general. So, this was something that actually came up in conversation during my Taco Tuesdays with my friends. <laughs> yes, I do Taco Tuesdays with my friends. And uh, it's very important, actually. We have some amazing conversations and we eat tacos and that's important for my spiritual development. But anyways, um, so, you know, I'm not gonna tell the whole story, but basically what came up, <coughs> <laughs> and they don't want me to tell the whole story <coughs> at all. Okay, so basically what came up was the whole horror movie scene in one of our conversations. And I was, you know, as somebody who really believes in the paranormal and lots of things that happen in horror movies, like I believe can happen in real life. Like, I believe in haunted dolls. I believe that, of course I believe in witches and um, vampires, more reptilian, I guess you could say, but I believe in all those myths and legends have truth in some way. I live in Rhode Island. I definitely believe that The Conjuring was real. Um, not really gonna get into that and why I believe it was real, but I can tell you right now it was. Um, I know a lot of people that do paranormal investigation. I have been involved in real paranormal investigation. So when I think of horror movies now, and I used to love horror movies when I was a kid, I, I don't watch horror movies anymore because a lot of it is too real to me, honestly. It's just too much and I can't handle the energy within it. I hate American Horror Story. I think it's an awful show and has awful energy. It's actually a really, a show that's very well written, but the energy around it is awful. And I'm not even going to go into that because that's like super conspiracy shit. And I'm not going into that here. I'm, I'm trying to stick to the subject of zombies today. So I, you know, we were talking and, um, like a memory came up of when me and Jess and the old business partner vended at a horror movie convention. And this is when I realized how crazy the business that I'm in and the field that I'm in of doing energy work and healings and psychic readings and, you know, all this woohoo stuff to, like, normal people. Like, we were the outcasts there. Like, there were people there that were very afraid of us. We had real spirit boards that we made in store. And when we told them that they were real spirit boards and that we were actually real practicing witches, people were afraid of us and walked away. And at that moment, I was kind of like, wow, there is a, a false energy within the horror movie scene. Like there are a lot of people that use it for escapism and don't even realize the real factors behind the real paranormal energy here. And that was kind of when I realized like, whoa, like this is like, in my pers perspective, this is a little dangerous here because you have these people that are, are diving into this stuff and they don't even really know what it is and they think it's more entertainment when in actuality somebody like me sees it more reality. And these are just like living at different ends of the spectrum, but I feel like a lot of things that are done within Hollywood are done on purpose because you know me, I'm the fucking conspiracy queen. This is why I need my Taco Tuesdays to release. And we were just like bitching and complaining on this Taco Tuesday and that fucking came up and I was like, fuck them. Like, what a bunch of bitches like afraid of us? Like, like you're wearing dead babies on your shirt and you're afraid of me, you know? So it was kind of like annoying. And then 
I went home and I just started journaling. I was like, I need to release this. And then zombies came in. And, and I've always had beef with zombie movies. Even when I did like horror movies, I'm like, zombie movies just suck. Like, they're just like, uh, I'm gonna fucking eat you. And there's no like substance behind it. There's no like real storylines. It's just like killing and eating people. And I like movies that have stories behind them, you know, which is why I'm not like, like, that's why I, I, if anything, I, I really like Rob Zombie, but I still, I can't watch it. But I used to love like The Devil's Reject and what's the other one? God, I can't think of it right now with Dr. Satan. I can't think of the name, but those were really good movies because they were very well written and you could like get involved in the story. But with me doing all this energy work and healing work, I can't do it anymore because I literally get engulfed in that energy and I can feel it coming at me and I'm like, fuck no, I don't want fucking Dr. Satan to come into my house. So, <laughs> because when you do this work, what you think you pull in. So you have to be careful what you're listening to and watching. Um, and I really want to watch The Conjuring, but I... I I just know that shit's real and I know Bathsheba is fucking real and I felt her energy and ugh, I don't want that bitch anywhere near me. Um, but I, I feel like eventually I need to watch it and do a video on it because it's, it's a really crazy concept, that movie. Um, anyways, so zombies. So I'm journaling about zombies. I'm like, zombies are fucking dumb. I fucking, like, I don't understand why people like zombies. Like, what is the big thing about zombies? I have my, my notes here. And, um, one of the things that came up while I was jur journaling is, like, people being like, I can't wait for a zombie apocalypse. And, like, just thinking about that and writing, it was kind of like I came to the conclusion that a lot of people that like the whole zombie thing hate their lives. They hate their lives. So what it comes down to is, all right, so let's let's just go over zombies first and then I'll get into that. And then this video is gonna piss people off, but I don't care because that's, I'm here to tell the motherfucking truth. I'm not here to sugarcoat shit and make y'all happy. I'm here to just, tell the truth like it is and I feel like there's a lot of symbolism in the zombie culture that bring people down and pull people away from their true selves and it's it's a big um it's a big form of escapism and distraction and there's escapism in everything like there's escapism in the spiritual world too like there's some people that are just going off in, in la-di-da and channeling all day and not getting their work done here. Like, that's a form of escapism. There's witches that do too much witchcraft. Like, there's some witches, they do, like, spells every two weeks. Like, bitch, you're not supposed to be doing that shit. We're supposed to be human, too. That's why we are here. Unless you're, like, living underground with aliens and you're a magician doing something, then if you're above on this earth walking around, you need to be human. I'm just saying that is why we're here. Um, and trust me, I got, st I, I, there's a lot of escapism. I mean, we're all in it, you know. My boyfriend loves the Avengers and the comic books and the video games, and that's his form of escapism. So I'm not saying that it's just the zombie people, but I want to really get behind the symbolism here. So when you think of a zombie, right, as a character, they can't think for themselves. Number one, that's the first thing that we all think of is they can't think for themselves. When you think of a vampire or a witch or a Dr. Satan, you know what I mean? Like, a, like another horror movie character, even Jason and Michael Myers, like they thought for themselves. Like they were like, yeah, I'm going to go here and kill all these people. Or um, a witch is going to put a spell on a whole community or, you know, um, a vampire is like, I'm going to go lay in the road and just fuck with these people and then eat them like all these monsters have their little plans but zombies don't so like that's the first that's like the number one thing with zombies is they don't have a plan they're just they, they're they just they're controlled by something they, they're controlled by a certain parasite or disease something like that so um they can't communicate at all they have no communication skills 
I mean, I've watched Vampire Diaries. I've seen those vampires communicate. And let me tell you, they're pretty good at it. They're very convincing. Like, you know, if I met a Damien vampire, I mean, I can't say that I wouldn't be like, hey, you know, we could go on a date or something. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go on a date with a fucking zombie because they can't even talk to me. Just saying, no communication. So there's another thing right there. And obviously they're walking around on the planet with no sense of purpose. And I feel like a lot of monsters that we see in horror movies, they have some sense of purpose. Or even even the bad guy, like the heel, like Thanos, like he had a sense of purpose. He was like, well, I'm just going to go kill these people because there's too many people on the planet. And then Mike Myers, like he had his own little purpose too. Like... He was a kid that was made fun of, and then he got thrown in a mental institution, so he went back and went after all the people that were connected to that. And Jason, I don't really know what his purpose was, but he was another one that was, like, made fun of. But zombies, they don't have a purpose. Like, there's no, like, I gotta go kill these people because of blah, 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 blah. So stick with me because I'm, I'm trying to make a point here. So, and, and then we have the other thing where people, for some reason, associate a zombie apocalypse with freedom. Right? Like, oh my god, I can't wait until there's a zombie apocalypse because I don't have to work anymore. Yeah, that, that just sounds like something that, um, you know... You just, you don't like your life, so you want to just cause self-destruction all around you because you don't like your life. Just saying. And then, <clears throat> um, they don't have to do things they don't like, so they want the zombie apocalypse because then they don't have to do things they don't want to do anymore. That's just, you know, that's part of life. It's called being responsible. There's a lot of things that I don't want to do, like taxes and cleaning my toilet, you know, but I, I take that over a zombie apocalypse any day. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So, and then the, the best thing about the zombie apocalypse apparently is they get to watch all the stupid people around them die because they don't have to deal with people anymore. So here we go, going into this, this weird self-hatred thing of like, I'd rather see everything around me self-destruct then work on what, then, then actually changing everything around me that I don't like, right? So we're kind of moving into the victim mentality here of, I don't like my life. Like, this is like what a little kid does. This is what like a three-year-old does. My friend has a two-year-old. I have a, a, she's my niece. She fucking throws shit and yells and, you know, for no reason. I mean, this is what kids do. They just fuck everything up because when they don't get their way, they... Everything around them needs to self-destruct, right? So, like, when you're in that mentality, it's kind of like a selfish kind of thing going on. Just... So let's keep going with this. Alright, so... <laughs> if you actually begin to think for yourself, right? So instead of being like, oh my god, um, I have to wake up every day and do the things that I, I don't like doing. Like, you're kind of living your life like a zombie. So it's kind of like the people that want the zombie apocalypse are the zombies, in a sense. Because they can't think for themselves. They can't really communicate with, right, they don't like a lot of people around them, so they'd rather ju them just all die. And... They hate their jobs, so just like the zombies, they're kind of walking around with no purpose. No purpose here. Because if, if you hate your life and you hate waking up every day, you're not living in your purpose. And every single human on this planet, I believe, has a purpose. Has something that they are supposed to be doing here that will bring them fulfillment. Fulfillment is something that is not given to you. Fulfillment is inner work. It's, it's going inward and figuring out what it is that you really want to do and who you really are and what you want to be. 
And a lot of times when people aren't living in fulfillment, everything around them is a mess, including the people in their life, their work, their career, their finances, their health, all of that mess, right? Because you just, you don't know who you are. You don't know where you're going. You don't know what your purpose is, but doesn't that kind of sound like a zombie? Like you're just waking up every day and you're going to a job that you hate and you hate yourself because you can't even open up and communicate with yourself and you can't communicate with the people around you either because the people around you are on that, aren't, aren't on the level to communicate with you or you're not on the level to communicate with them in ways. So we have a society of zombies in a sense I don't think I'm a zombie, like, I don't wake up and go to work. I wake up and fulfill my purpose every day. That's what I do. So I don't want a zombie apocalypse because there's no need for one. I actually believe that we have the ability to change and make things in the world better instead of just letting everything go and watching it self-destruct all around us. And I'm just going to sip my tea right now. Because to create change, it's work. It's work. It's not just giving up on everything. And I feel like that's what this culture is kind of creating. I mean, this is me overanalyzing the symbolism behind zombies. But I feel like it's a really big thing. I feel like there's a, so many people that are kind of engulfed in this. And it could, it could be other things, too. Um, there's a lot of people, too, in the ET community that are like, I can't wait for aliens to come back because it's just all going to get better. No, it's not. No, it is not. Actually, when there's actual ET disclosure, there's going to be lots of chaos on the planet and people aren't going to know how to handle it and every fucking religious foundation is going to crumble. Even all our political foundations are going, everything is going to crumble when there is full-on ET disclosure on the planet. That's why there are so many wars. I really believe that everything is has a galactic meaning behind it. Even the places on the earth with the ley lines and things that are going on within the governments. There's a lot of stuff going on in there that none of us know about that have to do with these beings wanting to come into the planet and show themselves. And from a lot of things in the ET community that I read about, they're fighting over who's going to give disclosure and how it's going to be done because they still want there's certain ways that they can control us due to how the disclosure is put out there. So no, it's not. It's not going to get better. It's not just going to be like, oh, this is, you know, we're all done here now. ETs are here, so we know everything. Motherfucker, these things have been alive for the past, like, 60 million years. And as humans, we haven't even discovered all of the ocean or went... Well, how much history do we know about ourselves, like... What, 20, 30,000? I don't even know. Something ridiculous. And then if you go back millions of years, everything's just a theory. There's no facts behind it. We don't even know who we are as human beings. But anyways, let's go back to zombies. So, while I was journaling, <laughs> I was connecting that zombie culture with laziness. It's like, afraid to change like people that are so stuck in their own little bubble of not liking themselves and their life would rather like a like a like a toddler create self-destruction all around in order to make themselves feel more relieved instead of going in and moving out like a light and changing everything around you. But this is what, this is what like Hollywood and anything that has our attention, I guess you could say, or the, you know, mind control, this is how it works. Cause it makes you feeling like a feel, feeling of hopelessness. Like there's nothing that can change. And I feel like that's what zombies represent 
to a lot of people is that nothing is ever gonna change and we're just a mess and we all need to self-destruct in order for things to get better because humans can't create change within this world. And to me, that is one of the biggest lies ever told because me as myself has developed and evolved and changed so much from when I was younger that like when I tell people that know me now how I used to be when I was a kid or when I was younger, they don't even believe me because I'm such a different person now. So I just see that one example within myself. And the thing too is when you begin, so here's the thing. So like the one of the reasons people want a zombie apocalypse is because they hate people, right? They hate people. I know, I get it. Like, I'm not going to say, like, I don't understand why you hate people. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I get it. Uh, some people are just ridiculous. And, and I, I think it's because we're all on these different vibrational frequencies and we don't see eye to eye. And, you know, some people just suck regardless. But anyways, people, human beings are difficult because we lack communication with each other. And you know how I know this, and this is a zombie thing right here, they, they don't communicate, they grunt. They fucking grunt. I've been doing readings professionally for five years. And I've been doing like, for the past five years, like at least 10 readings a week. Okay? And every reading that I do, especially with relationship shit, relationship shit has to do with lack of communication. Complete lack of communication. So when I'm looking at somebody's like current relationship that they're in, I'm like, okay, X, Y, Z is going on, but there's a block and I can see the wall. And I'm like, you guys aren't communicating. And then I'm like, this is how you feel. And this is how this person feels. Have you guys ever talked about it? And know what 90% of the end, no, we've never, I've never expressed that to them. Oh, well, well, you're coming to me and you're paying me like $115 an hour. So I can tell you that you need to communicate with their significant other. Like, come on. Like, this is, this, this is some of the main problems that we have. Like we, and we all have this as humans. Like we need to up our level of communication. We need to learn to talk to each other, express, right? Release, get it out and learn how to communicate on a level where people can understand you. I forgot where I was going with this. Um, but anyways, yeah, so it's, it's like that ability to not be able to communicate. And then, oh, the life's purpose thing. That's where I was going. So, you wake up every day and you don't like your life and you're kind of just like walking around trying to fulfill yourself with things that aren't really fulfilling you, right? So... If we were, you can't see it on there, I'm not, I think, oh yeah, is that it? That's it right there. All right, so this is another thing that kind of came into me when I was journaling. If you look into your energy field, and I, I don't know who's watching this video, I'm sure that most people watching this video are people that are connected to the shit that I do, but I feel like this video is going to connect with people that aren't connected to what I do, so talk about the chakra system really quick. So we have seven energy points in our body, we have the root and we have the sacral chakra, okay? So the sacral chakra is in your belly. It's below your navel. This energy right here has a lot to do with your relationships, your emotions, and it also has to do with addiction, right? So addiction is a form of hunger. So a lot of people that's why, and, and it's like, I'm talking about drugs, I'm talking about buying too much shit, I'm talking about putting your money into stuff that you don't even give a fuck about because you think that it's gonna bring you happiness and then you have this like fucking thing sitting on your bureau that cost you like $700 and you're like, oh my god, I'm still not happy. Yeah, you're not happy because your energy field isn't fucking clean and you don't know what you want. That's why you're not happy and you're trying to fulfill it with all these little things or drugs or alcohol or food or, you know, 
this is what, this is the zombie energy right here. It's like that I'm walking around with no purpose and I'm hungry and I just need to feed and feed and feed and feed and feed and feed. That is a lot of us walking around on this planet trying to find that sense of fulfillment. This is the symbolism here, that sense of fulfillment that we cannot find. It is connected to the sacral chakra. It is connected to the inability to feel complete because you lack self-worth, you lack creativity, you lack the love with yourself, you lack good relationships, you lack the real passion. Like a lot of passion is in your gut, it's in your belly. It's also connected to the heart too. Um, but I know when I feel really passionate and excited about something, I can even feel it in my belly right now, I feel it, like the energy moving around, like I feel like that excitement within my belly. That is something that that zombie energy is connected to is not being able to fill that energy. But when you live within your purpose, you can fill that energetically. You can fill that by liking what you're doing every day, waking up and feeling joy because joy is another feeling that when I, when I work on people, it's like, oh, you're not feeling any joy. You're feeling stress. So that's like the opposite. So when I used, when I did a lot of Reiki on people, I'm like, you got to get that joy. You got to get that feeling. You got to get those butterflies in your stomach again. All you have is knots in your belly and diarrhea. Is, it's, it's forming there because you're not happy, okay? You're fucking stressed out or you're constipated and you can't get that shit out. Like, so it's that hunger that is a big thing with the zombie culture is the hunger and not being able to fulfill it. So when you live in your purpose, you can fulfill that. You can literally feel it inside of your gut every day. That's why when we're like, something doesn't feel right, I can feel in my gut. It's your sacral chakra all day, all day. I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. Another thing that I wanted to mention while I was journaling is my table's making noises. Um, the witch, right? So you don't see a lot of witches in horror movies or movies in general. I mean, we had the witch in Game of Thrones and now we have that show I don't know. So the Sabrina, the teenage witch, I don't, I don't like that show either. But anyways, um, I did like Game of Thrones. But anytime that that witch comes up or the word witch, it is like the devil. Like people hate that word. But people love zombies. You know, there's millions of zombie movies out there and people love that shit. Why? Because it's a form of control. It's literally like them putting out an imprint. That's it's an energetic imprint to say zombie. Just be a zombie. Wake up every day. Don't love yourself. Hate your life wish for self-destruction, have wishful thinking instead of creating. Don't allow yourself to make change in the world. There's no such thing as change. There's no such thing as creativity. There's no such thing as real love. There's no such thing as fulfilling your hunger. There's no such thing as wealth. Like you're not worthy of wealth. You need to self-destruct. Everything around you needs to self-destruct. Witches? Totally different energy. When you see witches in movies, most of the time people hate them. People, people, all the time, all the time, even if there's like a witch passing by. Like, I remember in Game of Thrones when, um, what's his name? Fucking the, the, the Thraki guy, uh, Khaleesi's husband. I always forget his name. Um, they were saying how the, the witch, the witch, and the witch came in, she fucked shit up, but then dragon eggs ended up happening from it. I don't remember what happened, but all I remember is like, oh yeah, of course you hate the witch. Like everyone always hates the witch. The witch is complex. Does work. Being a witch is work. When you're a witch, you can create change all around you. 
When you're a witch, you can create change all up inside of you. When you're a witch, it's, it's not an easy process. It's also not easy to understand witches. So when witches come into, like, even in, um, why am I forgetting all the names of these shows? The Vampire Diaries, the vampires hated the witches, but the witches were very complex. It wasn't so simple with them. Like, you couldn't just kill a witch because witches knew all these different spells and what spells are all different energetic portals that we can enter into and then create significant change. And we know cloaking spells and we know how to find people and we know how to, God, change fate within whatever is happening. Protection spells, all this crazy shit that happens when you see witches. Um, and I feel like that's why in, in Hollywood, they or whatever, it's like anytime you see a witch, it's always looked at really bad and really negative. I mean, not that zombies aren't, but I feel like zombies are way more celebrated than witches because to be a witch is pretty fucking hardcore. And it's like everything that a zombie isn't. It's way more, it's way more intense. It's way more real. It's alchemy. It's transforming one thing into another. Like, that's what witches do. But I feel like the whole zombie thing is more celebrated because it's easier to control. You can't control a witch. That's why everyone hates them. That's why they're some of the worst villains in the movies. Because you can't. People are so afraid. There's nothing they can do. You, in a lot of movies, you can't walk up and stab a witch. You can stop that right before you even try to do it. You know? She can walk right by you, cloaked. You wouldn't even know it. I mean, we could talk about this forever, but I don't want to make this video too long. I just really want to talk about zombies. But just think about that. They want it to be easy for you to create self-destruction and to not believe that you can make change so you keep chasing that hungry, hungry feeling. I just thought of hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> but <clears throat> Totally over the zombie shit. Done with it. If I offended you, I'm not sorry, but I think that if you really love zombies and you don't like your life, you need to look at those two and why you feel like that, because there's definitely a connection there, because I feel like I could sit down with anybody who wants a zombie apocalypse and really break them down. Why are you so hateful? Why are you so mad? Why aren't you happy with your life? Why do you want to see everything around you destruct and crumble? What is it within yourself that you don't want to fix and you don't want to heal? All right, I'm done for today. I have a class tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm working on a Harry Potter video with uh, how Harry Potter connects to the awakening, like the symbolism in Harry Potter and how it connects to the awakening. I feel like it's going to be like three fucking hours and I really want to get pictures and music in it and I don't know how to do that. So I'm going to have to mess around with that because I really want it to be good because I love Harry Potter. Um, but it is, it's really good, like the content in it and how it all connects. And I can find symbolism in anything. Like I can watch any movie or any, read any stupid fictional book and connect it with this realm or some sort of mind control program or aliens or anything like that. But I hope, I hope you all enjoyed my video. I gotta get ready for my class in seven hours. No, I think it's like four hours or something away. But blessed be, love you all, subscribe, follow my page and share. Share this video with your zombie lover friends. Maybe I can change their perspective or just don't get so engulfed in wanting a zombie apocalypse. If you want to go dress up as a zombie and have fun with it, that's cool. But stop wishing for a zombie apocalypse because the way the energy is working right now, everything we're thinking is starting to come true. And I don't want a fucking zombie apocalypse. Like, I really don't. Just saying. Goodbye. <laughs>